Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel. Thossip Tammy YouTube channel. Let's start. There is more to know about the infamous Slighten siblings on 1000 Old Sisters. They have shared interesting details about their lives outside the show. The Slayton siblings share a lot about their lives on 1000 Old Sisters. But some interesting facts about them haven't been revealed on the show. The family has been relatable throughout the seasons. And even when the cameras aren't rolling, that fact remains to be true. They have each adjusted to living in the spotlight differently as they deal with the attention and notoriety that fame can bring. The Slattens are winning the internet over with their sense of humor, helpful advice, and transparency. Despite the challenges of reality fame from 1000 Old Sisters, the siblings still open up and aren't afraid to be honest and answer questions. Their direct nature and ability to not shy away from anything are one of the many reasons they have won viewers over. Fast food, such as McDonald's, is often a temptation that can derail healthy intentions and progress on a diet. However, Chris Combs admits that's a challenge he doesn't have to face. The 1000 Old Sisters star shared on TikTok the secret to his success and turning down greasy Big Macs and salty French fries. Chris has worked at McDonald's for over 20 years, and with all that experience also comes an inevitable aversion to the food. Chris was asked if it's hard to stay on his diet while at work, and his honest answer came as a surprise. He responded to the question without hesitation and said, To be honest, I have worked there for so long, the food. I don't even want to eat it anymore. It's not nothing against it, it's just my preference. Chris's life has changed since his weight loss and how he handles challenges and obstacles. His determination to not let anything get in his way of accomplishing his goals, whether it's fast food or otherwise, is the reason he has had such success on his weight loss journey. Amanda Halterman is a fan favorite on 1000 Old Sisters for her blunt honesty and hilarious perspective when it comes to dealing with her siblings. While Amanda loves sharing her life on screen, she also has a job apart from the show. When she isn't busy filming, she is transporting students to and from school, and it's a job she had before her television career. Amanda was asked on TikTok what she does for a living, a fact that has never come up before on 1000 Old Sisters. She responded to the question and shared her profession by saying, I drive a school bus. I have been doing that for almost 10 years. Aside from driving a school bus, Amanda explained that being a co-star on 1000 Old Sisters is another way she makes a living. She credits her younger sisters, Amy and Tammy Slyton, for her opportunity to be on reality TV, thanks to their popularity on YouTube before landing the show. Unlike her sisters, Misty's last name isn't Slyton. Since she doesn't make appearances on 1000 Old Sisters as often as her siblings, there is more to know about Misty beyond the show. While she isn't as active on social media, such as Instagram and TikTok, compared to the rest of her family, she does occasionally share life updates and information on Facebook. Misty has her account set to private, but her profile shows her name is Misty Wentworth. The details of her personal and married life are unknown as she prefers to not live her life so openly in the public eye. Most of the photos she has posted are moments she has captured with her siblings by her side. While Misty doesn't share a lot of information online, she does have listed that she is originally from Shawneetown, Illinois, but currently lives in Morgan Field, Kentucky. Amy Slatton has spoken out about being legally blind before on 1000 Old Sisters, but she has never gone into detail about why. Before she reached reality fame, she often shared much of her life on YouTube interacting with her followers and giving them insight into her life through videos and vlogs. Back in 2015, Amy opened up about her disability and explained what happened and how it has impacted her daily life. Amy felt that sharing her story was important and explained, I've been like this all my life. I was born this way. When I was younger, I was diagnosed with histo and toxoplasmosis, which in layman's terms, that is what they call scars in my eyes. She further explained that a reason why her left eye isn't straight is due to her blindness, and she also has astigmatism in that same eye. 
Amy also wears prescription glasses when needed to make it easier to see and help out with the eye strain she experiences. Amy didn't hesitate to warn her followers about the importance of staying safe and healthy, especially while pregnant. She explained that histoplasmosis and toxoplasmosis are the same things that deal with parasites. She revealed that when her mother was pregnant with her, she often cleaned out her cat's litter box, which is how she came into contact with the parasites, leading to Amy's diagnosis and disability. Tammy Slatten's weight loss journey has been a big part of 1,000 Old Sisters as she tries to get her health back on track. Last year, the reality star almost lost her life after her lungs collapsed, and she was placed into a medically induced coma. Thankfully, Tammy made it back out on the other side and has found the motivation to completely turn her life around. As scary as that moment was for her, it wasn't the first time she had a close call to death. Tammy shared on her YouTube channel that she faced a near-death experience on April 22, 2015, which almost proved to be the end for her. She was rushed to the hospital after she woke up and felt like she couldn't breathe. But once she arrived, that is when everything took a turn for the worst. She recounted the terrifying incident by saying, Apparently, I passed out. My oxygen dropped down to 17. And I woke up three and a half weeks later on life support. I about died that night, literally about died. The 1000 Old Sisters star shared that the scariest part of all is that she faced the same thing again, just a night or two later, and almost died again that same week because of pneumonia. She recalled what it was like opening her eyes for the first time after waking up all those weeks later and seeing her sister, Amanda, by her side. The indescribable joy she felt brought tears to her eyes, and she said that she wouldn't have made it through without the love and support of her family. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our Gossip Tammy channel and stay with us.